All right. Uh, Bob has a question. Bob says, I've been monitoring how do I have a question about monitoring battery usage on my Apple Watch. I'm using a Series 4, but he says, I think this would apply to anyone. My watch has recently started getting to the low power mode threshold by late afternoon, and I have no idea why. In the past four months, it has seldom gotten below 30% by bedtime. In iOS, there is a battery preference pane that shows battery usage by app, even if it isn't all that good. I cannot find an equivalent for the watch. We get something similar in Monterey. It's not perfect, but we get something similar. Uh, he says, how do I figure out which apps drain my battery so much? When I have seen the battery life on the Apple Watch just suddenly begin to tank with consistency, like day after day, it's just falling and falling. Every single time it has been caused by background syncing of contact data. Uh, I don't know why this happens, but clearly it's a problem that affects lots of people, not just those in the uh, TMO Towers East household here. Uh, and the reason I know that is because there is a button to fix it. If you go in to, and so I would try this, uh, go into the watch app on your iPhone. And I, every time I have to struggle with this, so I'm hoping I remember doing it in this segment. Yeah, go to the, the watch app on your iPhone, go to general, choose your watch. If you have multiple watches, most people don't, but you know, do that. Uh, choose your watch, go to general, go to reset and choose reset sync data that wipes out whatever it's trying to do. And lets it just do a full on sync once. Now that full on sync will use more, you know, radio time and processor time and therefore battery life. But anytime I've had this issue, I do that and it's gone for, you know, the foreseeable future. So that is exactly where I would start if I were there. Hopefully that does it. 